So today I'm gonna to give you guys two tips that I've received this year that completely 10X my public speaking skills. Hello everybody, my name is Salem Sunni and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that they are God's very best. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So I've had the privilege to travel the world speaking at different conferences, churches, coaching, corporate meetings, and training for the past six years. I had the privilege to share the stage with individuals who've been speaking publicly for over 50 years. And because of that, I am super, super grateful. Here are two tips that I can share with you that once I applied them in my public speaking career have completely changed the game for me. One of my mentors told me simply, he said, hey Salem, to help your public speaking skills, you have to have quotable lines. When you speak, make sure that you have sentences that carry the weight of what you're trying to message, trying to pass, but are short enough that can be tweetable. So I remember when I was invited at the University of Tampa to speak to a group of leader students over there. I remember at a point during my talk, I just stopped and I wanted them to understand really the importance that they had also to achieve the success. So I said, you have to understand that success is not just something that others can have. Even if you don't believe it, you just gotta be able to say, me too. That if they can do it, me too. If my mother can do it, me too. And then we went on and something that was really powerful is as I kept quoting people that have attained success and I wanted them to repeat, me too, me too, it to improve their belief level. That became so powerful that they were saying something and then hashtag me too. They just kind of went on and it became a quotable thing. At the end, people really had that belief that yes, me too, I can achieve the success. So quotable sentences like that are very powerful. A lot of the great communicators usually use those quotable sentences as the material they put on their social media, whether it might be a quote or a picture with a caption that has that same quote on there because that can be easily shared. So every time I'm invited to speak somewhere, whether I'm writing it down or I'm having the talk in my head, I always think about, well, that's gonna be a quotable or couple of quotable sentences that I can have and incorporate that in my talk. Here's another tip that I received this year that's completely helped me. Understanding the utilization of pauses in my talk. I'm somebody who tend to speak slightly fast, not too fast, but slightly faster than most people's pace. I, I had to realize that sometimes I had to actually slow down the pace very, very low or sometimes completely pause to get people's attention. So if I'm speaking very fast like this and you understand you're very used to the pace and then all of a sudden, Here's the reality. If you are not watching this video, you either think something is wrong with your internet, right? Because the video is not playing, or you're looking at this like, what is he gonna say, right? So understanding, for example, where you're pausing is very important sometimes to put emphasis on what you're saying. This morning when I woke up, I got a chance to go to the gym. And as I was going to the gym, because for the past couple months, I've been trying to be really proactive by my health. So I go to the gym as about three to four times every single week, just to make sure I stay in shape. But as I'm walking today, I saw something that completely shocked my mind. So this is a place I've been a member to for quite some time. So it's not like this was my first or second time there. So I've been going there for a few months now. But as I'm walking to this place, I was completely shocked by what I saw. You see what I just did there? Pausing at the climax creates even more anxiety. It's like a cliffhanger that I just put there on the story, making everybody want to know what exactly did you see there? What was so shocking to you that you saw when you went to the gym today? Well, here's the reality of what happened, right? They put some balloons all over the place, so it was looking very festive because of the holidays. But that doesn't seem very shocking as a statement. But the way I prepped what I was gonna say, due to that very pause there, changed your attention to hearing what was that thing that I saw. This is something that has really helped me this year, whether I'm doing some coaching, some training one-on-one, whether I'm training corporate staffs, or I'm speaking publicly, whether I'm doing it at a church, or motivating an organization or an association of young people. This has really has helped me tremendously this year. So here are two tips that I think you can utilize as well. If this content was helpful to you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the page so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Oh, that's all for me today. Remember, you are God's very best. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.